Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak, and this video is the design tip of the week from yesimadesigner.com. Today, I'm going to compare two very powerful techniques in Adobe Illustrator CC, the Pathfinder and the Shape Builder tool. So first of all, let's see why should we ever use these tools. I'm going to show you first of all that you can use these tools to draw with shapes easily in Illustrator instead of drawing with like the pen tool or the brush tool or pencil tool. So why would we ever need to draw with shapes? Well, let's have a look. If I want to draw clouds, for example, all I would do is to use the ellipse tool and just simply start drawing circles. These circles can be filled or they can be also just simply uh, have outlines and no fill on them. By the way, you can very easily swap the color that you use on the fill to the stroke or vice versa by pressing Shift X on the keyboard. That's already a very useful shortcut. So let me just carry on adding a couple of circles here. And as you can see completely randomly, it doesn't have to be even a perfect circle. They can be ellipses as well. So once I have them uh, and they are all joined up, so they are even intersecting each other, then I can make a selection of all of these together with the selection tool. I just make a big selection on them. And now I can decide which tool I want to use. Well, let me show you first the Pathfinder, which you can always find under Window, Pathfinder. This is a separate panel, which has a lot of options. But most importantly, we have the first option called Unite. So if I click on that, that will unite all of these circles together and create this nice cloud shape. So if I want to now add the color to it, I can very easily define a color and I can also get rid of the fill color if I want to. So that's a one way to use a Pathfinder to create quickly an illustration. But we can also subtract with Pathfinder. Let's say I'm going to draw a rectangle here at the bottom of the cloud. And again, this rectangle can be the default white fill and black stroke. That's also another keyboard shortcut. If you press D as default on the keyboard, that will switch the selected object and change its uh, colors back to the default colors. So once again, white fill and one point black stroke. Now, if I select these two objects together, in the Pathfinder panel, I can choose the second option, which is the minus front. If I click on that, that can easily remove that rectangle from the object behind it, which was the cloud. So now I have a straight bottom for the cloud if I want to. But let's have a look at the shape builder. Let's say I want to draw a speech bubble uh, this time. So again, I'm going to start drawing a circle. And then I'm going to draw another circle just below it, like that. And then using the selection tool, I click on this object, holding down Alt or Option on the keyboard. I drag it and that will create a duplicate. So I have three circles. Let me switch all of these back to their default color. So I just selected all of them and press D on the keyboard, just as before. So now if I select them all, I can also get rid of the fill colors just so we can see them completely, their structure. Now if I select the Shape Builder tool, which is here, uh, you can use it uh, the, with the keyboard shortcut, which is Shift M. So once that is selected, I can actually hover over these selected objects and see that which part can be separately accessed. So for example, if I just draw over a couple of details here, I can add them together. I can even add these two together and you can already start to see the speech bubble that I wanted to create, but these parts are unnecessary. So what shall I do in that case? I just have to hold down Alt or Option, click and drag over these details and I manage to remove them. So you can see that the Shape Builder tool's functionality is very similar to Pathfinder, but it might be a little bit faster in most cases to use it than to always go into the panel and then click on these little icons there. Because adding and removing or uh, uniting and subtracting is very easy with the Shape Builder tool. Let me show you another example, a little bit more complicated. So what if we want to create a Celtic cross design in Illustrator? 
you can see here on the left a couple of examples obviously these are much more complicated than what I'm going to create but of course if you practice with this tool you can create amazing uh, stuff and even very complicated Celtic crosses so I am going to select this uh, all of these circles you can see I have two circles and I have four rounded rectangles here I already prepared these objects and I put them on top of each other and uh, I selected all of them and select the shape builder tool it's very important to always make sure you select all the objects before you start using the shape builder or even the pathfinder otherwise illustrator won't be able to tell what you would like to use to create new shapes so first of all what I need to do here is to join up a couple of pieces so I'm going to start joining up this part here then I'm going to continue doing the same thing and repeat the same steps now I'm going to again join up a couple of elements I'm going to go on this circle here and keep on again doing the same thing to simply draw over these details and then again I'm going to repeat one step four times go through these lines here until they are completely uh, following the rules for creating this Celtic cross so you can see it's a really nice design simple but effective and it was created purely by a couple of shapes and using the shape builder tool of course you can take this further as well in illustrator for example by using the life paint bucket tool which you will find also joined together with the shape builder there's a reason for them being together because they are very similar in the way they work so if I select life paint bucket tool by the way the keyboard shortcut is K for this I can now click on any of these parts of the design and I can fill it in with any uh, color that I like if I press right and left arrows I can quickly uh, go through all the colors that I have in my swatches panel so for example I can give this circle a color then I can give let's say this um, rounded rectangle a different color again and this one again a different color so you can see that not only the shape builder works uh, very well with different types of shapes but also the life paint bucket tool so now we can see that with the shape builder you can cr create very interesting and quite complex shapes very easily and quickly but why would we ever use the pathfinder then because pathfinder is quite an old uh, option in illustrator it has been around for several versions but uh, shape builder was introduced recently in a couple of versions back so why would we ever go back and try to use uh, pathfinder so that's the question well let me show you a simple example now I'm going to use the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a couple of shapes I'm going to just switch off my uh, stroke because I don't need that and I'm going to duplicate this shape and then I'm going to draw another shape right there duplicate it holding down alt and dragging it down and then another very useful keyboard shortcut control or command D will repeat your previous transformation and in, in case that was a copy or duplicate and also transformation or moving something around then it will actually repeat those steps so that's by the way is under if I select an object I can go under object transform transform again so this is where you can find it that's the keyboard shortcut I just mentioned so now that we have this ready let's say I would like to join this up into an object of course I can always group it and then I will have still the uh, option to move these steps around but if I would like to have it merged into one object then I will need to use either the shape builder or the pathfinder let's have a look at the shape builder so I just selected shape builder and let's see what we can do with this well I can draw along this line quite easily to join it up and I can even do it on the other side but then in the middle I will have to go one by one through all of these parts well that's not really useful so let me just go back a couple of steps and let me show you another way of using the shape builder tool if you don't want to use it along a line you can also use it 
like uh, as a lasso tool holding down shift you can draw around the objects you would like to add together and then when you let go it will merge them all together but in this case unfortunately this also is not the best solution because now we lose all the inside parts and it creates one object with only following the outline of the object so it won't be able to capture these little parts in the middle so in these cases shape builder tool is actually not the best one to use it's much easier to go to pathfinder panel and just simply choose the first one called unite and you can see we didn't have to draw any lines we just simply pressed unite and bang it's done so you can see both of these options are very useful so both the shape builder and the pathfinder and you just have to be aware of both of them and whatever you create in illustrator you have to decide which way is the best way to create and combine or subtract shapes and that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I hope you will be able to make the most of these features in your own design projects. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. Also, if you want to learn more about design, check out my in-depth online courses on my website, yesimadesigner.com.